Generally, individuals have the right to use reasonable force in defense of their own lives. But if an attacker is unarmed, how much defensive force is reasonable? And can an individual be liable for injuries inflicted in self-defense? The Louisiana Court of Appeals considered these questions in Slayton v. McDonald. Following a disagreement on the bus ride home from school one afternoon, 14-year-old James Slayton threatened to come to 14-year-old Daniel McDonald's home and fight him. Slayton was larger than McDonald and had a reputation for winning fights. Although McDonald told Slayton not to come over, he saw Slayton coming up his driveway later that day. McDonald yelled at Slayton to go home, but Slayton continued approaching the house. McDonald then brought a shotgun outside and loaded it in front of Slayton. When Slayton didn't leave, McDonald went back into his house and called 911. During McDonald's conversation with the 911 operator, Slayton came into the house, where a frightened McDonald insisted he leave several times. Slayton dared McDonald to shoot him and threatened to beat McDonald up. Slayton's sister arrived and told her brother to leave because McDonald had a gun, but Slayton refused, telling her McDonald was too scared to shoot him. McDonald, still on the line with the 911 operator, shot Slayton in the knee. The medical bills for Slayton's injury cost his family over $43,000. The Slayton family sued the McDonald's for damages. The McDonald's countersued for mental anguish. The trial court dismissed both claims and assessed all court costs to Slayton, holding that because Slayton was the aggressor, McDonald acted reasonably to protect himself under the circumstances. Slayton appealed to the Louisiana Court of Appeals.